In this section, we're going to start slowly. So we will show you first how to create your first notebook and then go through some of the features that are offered in Notebook LM. Later down the road, we are going to do deeper dives into the functionalities and some use cases that you can start to experiment with. Our hope is that it inspires you to be able to use it in your personal life and also your professional work. So to get started, you need to go to notebooklm.google.com. I'll provide a link down below so you can access that, create an account, use a Google account. There are some restrictions for what's allowed to access a book LM. You have to follow the instructions in the link that I'm providing. Once you have set up an account, then you are presented with the following screen. So once you're getting started, the first thing you see is create your first notebook. So I don't have any notebooks here that I've created so far, but I do see some example notebooks. Now I will highly recommend you to go and look at the introduction to notebook LM before you get started. And the reason is because there's a lot of great documentation here that they have posted in this Notebook LM. So the Google team has done a really good job to document how you may use Notebook LM, what are the limitations and so forth. In the course, we will provide you ideas, as I mentioned, how to use Notebook LM for different use cases and different kinds of documents that you may have around. And we will also go through some best practices and we'll also follow some of the recommendations from the Google team. We'll go back to Notebook LM and start from the front page. And then we're gonna create our first notebook. So we can go here, create, and we're presented with this screen. Everything about Notebook LM is centered around sources. The idea is that it will provide its sources and then you can use the Gemini model to interact with those sources. That's kind of the idea at a high level. Gemini 1.5 Pro. So this is one of their best models available and so it's a very powerful model that we can take advantage of to do all sorts of creative tasks around some of the sources that we have lying around. Sources can be audio files, can be markdown documents, can be PDF, Google Docs, Google Slides, websites, YouTube, and even notes that you can paste as text. So those are the types of sources that are supported by Notebook LM. So what you need to do is you can drag a file here if you have one, or you can use one of the options below. We're gonna go through all these different options throughout the course. So don't worry about that right now. For this very simple getting started section, we're gonna add two sources. So recently, Google DeepMind released this very interesting war called alpha chip and as a researcher or an AI researcher, I'm very interested in this work. And most of the times I really don't have time to go through some of these announcements. So my plan is to use Notebook LM to give me a quick overview about what this launch was about. What is Alpha Chip about? Why are people so excited about this particular announcement? So I'm gonna give it some sources. I have two web pages that I'm gonna add as source to Notebook LM. The first one is this article by Google DeepMind on Alpha Chip and how it transformed computer chip designing. Right, so this one was released 26th of September, 2024. Right, so this whole thing here, instead of copying and pasting it to Notebook LM, I can just provide it the link. And that's what I'm about to do. So copy the link to the web page and then paste it over to Notebook LM. Now I am in Notebook LM and I have that link copied and now I'm gonna paste it here. So the option here to paste links are two options, YouTube and a website. We are gonna touch on YouTube later on in the course. So I'm gonna go and copy over my next URL. Again, I'm providing the URLs below this video. I'm gonna add another source so I can go here to this plus sign, and then I can choose website, and then I can paste my second source. So this one is an addendum that was provided as part of this announcement. This addendum was published in Nature, so it provides more information about what are the updates, on this particular announcement because this is something that was previously released and there are a lot of new things here. And that's what I want to find out. What are the new things? What is exciting about this particular announcement? And note that you have some notes here. Only the visible text on the website will be imported at this moment. Paid articles are not supported. So do pay attention to that. We're gonna insert this. I know you'll see it's being added here. All right, so we have two sources and actually we can add up to 50 sources per a notebook. And notice I mentioned notebook. So this is a notebook that I've created and the notebook has a name as well. So here is a name, so far it's on title, but I'm gonna rename this to Alpha Chip Research. So that's gonna be the name of my notebook. Okay, now it's gonna be saved as that. Just to show you that it actually saved it, I'm gonna go back to the home page. I can just click here on the logo and it takes me to the front page. This is my dashboard. So I have the example notebooks and I also have this Alpha chip research notebook that I've just created. And I can continue to create new notebooks. I'm gonna click on it again, and you will see that it has the two sources. So those were saved automatically. And from here, we have a bunch of options. And this is where the fun actually starts. So after we added our sources, 
we can do a few things. We can add a note. So the first thing I want to show you here is how to add a note. So there is this option right here. As of the time of this recording, which is October the 1st, we can add up to a thousand notes. These notes could be written by you, or it could be as well notes that correspond to responses that you get from the model. I'll show you that step later when we are using the chat option available in Notebook LM. Just to show you how this works, I'm going to type something here and save a note. I'm going to say researching, could be anything, researching about the new release of the alpha chip model by Google DeepMind. Okay, very simple note, nothing too fancy here. And I can give it a title. I'll just say research. Purpose, that's it. I just wanted to show you how to add a note. And this is referred to as a written note here. And you can add styling if you want, that's your choice but I'll leave it as is for now. So that's saved automatically. And I could do a few things with these notes and I'll show you some interesting things that you can do. But because this is a very simple note, I'm gonna skip that step and then show you later on in the course, the things that you can do with notes and how you can engage with them and interact with them and do all sorts of conversions and analysis on these written notes. So the fun part of Notebook LM is this notebook guide. So I'm gonna click on this notebook guide here at the bottom. And what you see here is a bunch of options. So when I uploaded these sources, it's giving me the option to create a FAQ study guide table of contents, timeline, briefing doc. Those are referred to as pre-formatted guides. Those are a good starting point. It also gives you a summary of what these sources are talking about. And then it has this feature, which everyone is talking about, which is this audio overview, which is basically a deep dive conversation involving two hosts and it's English only about the sources that you have passed it. And what I like about audio overview is super engaging. As you will see, we'll go through many examples of how to use it later in the course. So stay tuned for that. But just to show you that you can generate audio overview here, I will just click on this button and you will see here that it's saying generating conversation. This might take a few minutes, no need to stick around. So you can do other things while you wait for your audio overview. We will have a specific section on audio overview and we will do a deeper dive on this and some tips on how to use this feature. And you will see that we have the audio overview generated now and you can play it. So I'll play a few seconds just to demonstrate what was the audio overview of the alpha chip announcement. All right, buckle up because we're diving into some seriously cool tech today. AI that designs the brains of computers. We're talking about AlphaChip, a system from Google DeepMind that's changing the game for chip design. You've sent us a couple of articles on this, and let me tell you, it's a wild ride. It really is fascinating stuff. To understand why this is such a big deal, we need to start with what a chip layout actually is. Imagine a city plan, but instead of buildings and streets, it's transistors and circuits. Millions. Even billions of them all packed onto a tiny chip. Okay, so like a micro metropolis with its own crazy traffic flow. Mm. And designing these layouts, that's where it gets really complicated, right? Exactly. It's a painstaking process that hasn't fundamentally changed in decades. Skilled engineers spend weeks, sometimes months, meticulously placing each component to optimize performance. And this reliance on human brain power, it's actually created a bottleneck in chip development. So enter alpha chip the AI that designs AI chips. It's like AI making itself smarter, right? It does have a certain elegance to it. Essentially, they've trained AlphaChip to approach chip design as a game. Imagine a blank grid representing the chip. AlphaChip gets to place the components one by one like pieces on a game board, and it receives rewards based on how efficient the final layout is. So it's learning by playing, figuring out the best moves based on the feedback it gets. Precisely. But here's where it gets really interesting. So I played a minute and a half there just to demonstrate what the feature is. But later, we're going to go through a deeper dive on this feature and other things that you can do with Notebook LM. So there is also these suggested questions. And these questions are based on the sources as well. So everything for the notebook is centered around the sources. So you can ask a simple question, you can select one. And once you select one, for instance, I can choose this one. What are the key ways AlphaChip has revolutionized computer chip design? I'll click on that and notice that now it takes me into this chat mode and now it's generating a response, okay? After a few seconds there, it generated this response here. And I can continue to have a conversation with it so with some of the suggested follow-up questions down below. And there is a lot more here that we can explore, but I wanna keep it at that for now, but hopefully you see how exciting this is and how powerful this can be as a research assistant. So stay tuned for more.
as we go through deeper dives into all the features, functionalities, going through use cases, and very compelling ways on how to use Notebook LM for personal and professional use.